So now we're going to look at our range of manual motor starters. They range from low amperages all the way up to 32 amps, 15 kilowatts. We also have a range of accessories to go with it. We have our under voltage trips. We have our side mounting auxiliaries. We also have our front mounting auxiliary. And also with that we have an enclosure, an IP55 enclosure to go with the units. So now we're going to fit an under voltage trip to our manual motor starter. Now an under voltage trip is ideal as a safety device for machines so that if power is lost the manual motor starter will trip out and cannot start again until the power is restored. So let's fit our under voltage trip. So you can see the hooks at the top here. They fit in locators at the top of the manual motor starter, like this. Make sure your manual motor starter is in the off position. Gently push round. You can see at the bottom this blue tab here. Press, and you can see it lifts slightly. Push down to secure it. So there we have our under voltage trip fitted. Now, the manual motor starter will not latch until the unit is energized. You can see that here. There we are, your manual motor starter with under voltage trip. So let's now fit an auxiliary to our manual motor starter. Now we can only fit auxiliaries to the left hand side as you face the unit on this side. If you notice here this orange tab, this needs to be in the up position up here to be able to fit securely. So as before, you just need to secure along the top and then gently push into place. Press the blue tab at the bottom and secure in. And there we've managed to fit our auxiliary. In this state here, this can fit in one of our IP55 enclosures. However, if you are panel mounting this unit, you can actually add extra auxiliaries onto the same side. So again with the hook, put in place like so, make sure attached up and push in place, press the blue tab and there we are, we have an extra auxiliary and very easy to remove as well. So we previously fitted our side mounting auxiliary, you also have the option if you require to fit a front mounting auxiliary, this unit here. That fits in here so what you need to do is remove this plastic section along there. You do that by using a sharp knife, cutting along here, or with a small screwdriver. So having removed the front plate to fit the auxiliary, all we need to do is fit our auxiliary in here. And the best way to do it is just to gently put it in place so it's ready. Press on the back of it and you notice it will tilt back. Put your thumb, thumb on the front and gently push in. And here we are. We now have our front mount auxiliary in place. So as previously discussed, the manual motor starter can be panel mounted or you have the option to install in an IP55 enclosure. If you do install in one of these enclosures, just remember to the left you can fit one auxiliary and to the right you can also fit the under voltage trip. So let's unscrew it and we would recommend just using a screwdriver rather than a power tool and just for convenience they are quick release screws. So there we are, nice and easy. To install your manual motor starter what we would suggest is just avoid the little tab here when installing. So put it to the right like so and you'll see it sits nicely inside the base. So all you need to do now is gently push forward and clicks into place like so. So the only thing left to do is to replace the lid and screw down.
and there we have our manual motor starter in an IP55 enclosure. So now that you've installed your manual motor starter in your IP55 enclosure, you will notice that you can still press your start-stop buttons through the membrane.